Hello. This will be a quick video about the TikToker Tofiachu. I will be going over all her controversies up to now. Her legal name is Tofia Slidell. She lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico, with her mother, brother, father, and a dog named Hershey. She used to work at Dunkin' Donuts, but was fired for smelling bad. Tofia started her TikTok career back when it was still musically. She has over 300,000 followers and posts typical TikTok videos. Other social media profiles are her YouTube channel, where she barely posts, and her Instagram, where she is active. I'm going to start off with how she is an e-beggar. For the longest time, Tofia claimed social media was her job. She claims to make thousands from TikTok, but we know that's not true. Especially, since she asks people to send her money. These days, she doesn't directly ask for money, but before, she did. In late 2022, Tofia was on the verge of eviction due to unpaid rent and swats sent from trolls. Tofia begged for donations, and even created a GoFundMe. She raised enough to cover some of the rent, but it turns out she didn't. On her Instagram, she posted photos of her at Comic Con after achieving her goal, and people were furious. People who supported Tofia through her living situation turned against her after finding out that she spent that money on Comic Con tickets. Somewhere in January of this year, Aunt Karen, another TikTok influencer, went on live with Tofia to explain her controversies. The first thing they talked about was the GoFundMe scam. Tofia claims that when she went to pay the rent, her landlord didn't take it because they wanted the full amount as a split payment. I think they had $1,000 saved and needed to pay $3,000. Tofia, though, didn't save that $1,000 to the side because she was on a COVID relief plan that would help cover her rent. All I can say is that this woman has poor money management. Even if you are sure your rent will be covered, you shouldn't have spent that $1,000 on some goddamn tickets. She could have saved it as an emergency, but no. Tofia made racist comments against black people and Mexicans. In an old life of hers, Tofia made a comment about how she doesn't consider herself a burnt color. So anybody that wants to post a video saying that I'm racist towards black people and I'm black, that's not racism. I don't consider myself a burnt color, okay? When you look at things, it's African. When you look at it, it's African-American. So anybody she is insinuating that black people with darker skin tones are burned, which makes her a colorist. I want to note that many people believe she is lying about being half black, because her father is her stepfather, so she's just straight up racist, but it doesn't matter to me personally, because the comment is messed up either way. Tofia claims that someone asked her a question about burnt tortilla chips, and this person said she was a burnt color, but that doesn't make any sense. Before making the comment, she mentioned black people, so she was talking about race. Now her racist comment against Mexicans also took place in her life. Tofia was complaining about how Mexican women have the audacity to talk sh asterisk t about other people in Spani sh when they should be lucky that they are in America. To talk crap in Spanish, like if nobody's gonna notice, and literally, it's like you're here, literally, able to work. You're lucky the president has not sent you a Mexico, like, and you're over here complaining and talking crap about non-Mexican people, like, and it's not all Mexicans, it's some Mexicans that think that they can use their language to talk crap about people. Her excuse was that she was reading an article and directly reading the racist comments out loud. But once again, with context, you can tell she wasn't reading an article and was actually being racist. In January of this year, Tofia went to Aunt Karen's court to explain her side of the story. You can tell she was lying about her reasoning behind those comments due to her body language and incoherent speech. Tofia also said the r slur and t slur, which she apologized. However, after those apologies, she's been caught slipping a few times. The most important controversy of all is her watching child corn. Around April 2022, Tofia screen shared her phone to show a BTS meme. Then she accidentally swiped down and exposed her watch history. There were tabs with X video pictures, one of them saying Teen Asian. This screenshot of her life went viral in the top high verse. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already knows about this screenshot. You know, that famous screenshot that Tofia kept saying that it was photoshopped or made on CapCut and how it, it's basically a lot of things she lied about. And now she's finally caught red handed because we have enough proof and resources to back up our claims, which I'm going to explain now. When you own an iPhone, we all have this feature, the caption feature where it shows the date, the time, the files, and the screenshot of what it is. Now, I just want you to keep a close eye on the date and time 
because here's a screenshot of someone asking Tofia, hey, do you have a live replay of April 4th? And this is what she says. Tofia can't even read at all. This person was clearly asking for a live replay of April 4th. And here she is saying like, oh, I don't have any history of April 4th. So Tofia, someone screen recorded your live stream from April 4th. I really don't want to help. I feel like you just want me to not win. <laughs> you are not funny. Yep, there you go. April 4th. Caught red-handed. Caught lying. There's a live stream of it. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Same dates. And around the same morning. And I know some of you are going to be like, okay, but how were they able to take a screenshot of the website being transparent? Let me explain that part to you. Someone did it to themselves, and they said this is called a transition. This happens when you're switching tabs. And Sophia was happened to switching tabs to a brand new tab and it's transparent to show her original tab. Sorry, her Safari tab. Sophia has been caught watching X videos like so many times. It's like hard to keep count, but she just won't admit it and it says like, oh, those videos are just probably edited or cropped to make it look like I was doing it. But no, we finally did it. We finally have the proof, the evidence, the explanation that this is a real screenshot. You have lied your way so many times to get out of this. And now that the evidence are literally displayed, I don't think you should even try to make an excuse for this anymore, Tofia. And by the way, babe, this is how you actually expose someone by putting every little details not leaving the important details or trying to sugarcoat it to make it look like someone's older or someone's younger. I would just honestly sit down at this point. You suck. <laughs> now I will be talking about her living situation. Anyone in the Chuverse will know now that this woman and her family have been struggling to stay in a permanent place. For the longest time, trolls have doxxed, swatted, and raided Tofia's apartment since last year. In one incident, her apartment was tear-gassed, and they had to stay at a homeless shelter. They even sent noise complaints to the police, their landlord, and even got their neighbors to report the slidles. This was part of the reason why they got evicted, the other reason was unpaid rent, which I will get into. So Tofia's stepfather, Donald Slidell, or Papa Chu, is diagnosed with schizophrenia. His illness is serious and causes him to say and do extreme things. I explained how problematic his behavior was on the internet, but in real life, he seems to put the family in danger multiple times. Papa Chu used to go on with his life, just like Tofia, and do some life-threatening things. He would start fires in the apartment, put tape on the walls, and lay cardboard on the floor. The fire caught the attention of a neighbor who saw the screen-recorded videos. Tofia believed the trolls made the complaint, but the neighbor had no idea of him. When their landlord found out, he gave them an eviction notice. All this took place sometime in late 2022. This is where things started getting serious. In Aunt Karen's life, Tofia explained the living situation, which is kind of confusing to me, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. Papa Chu was starting fires in the apartment, which he did. Their neighbors found out and complained to their landlord about it. Side note, Tofia was convinced the trolls told the neighbor to report them, but they have never been contacted by them. This was actually the last straw, so the landlord gave them an eviction notice. But they came to terms, they could move out whenever they wanted, as long as Papa Chu left the premises. They also had to go to court for unpaid rent. According to Tofia, they weren't given a court date. Apparently, New Mexico has a law that says tenants can still stay in their homes if they aren't given a court date, so the family found a loophole to stay longer. They had to pay $3,000, so Tofia created a GoFundMe and raised about $1,000. When she went to pay, the landlord wanted $3,000 up front and not split payments of $1,000. 
Tofia applied for a COVID relief program that would help cover the rent and was convinced that she didn't have to do anything. This is where she messed up. Instead of saying that $1,000 was on the side, because, you know, anything can happen, she spent it on Comic Con tickets. Supporters of Tofia, people who were fans and genuinely felt bad about her situation, were furious when they found out. Honestly, this woman has poor money management. She was finally evicted sometime after the second court session with Aunt Karen. I would say in the summer, though I can't find a specific date. Now, where have they been staying since then? So the first place they were was in a homeless shelter. Their stay was short, though, they found an extended hotel. As usual, trolls found the location and left negative reviews in order to get Slidles kicked out. Now it's not like they actually went searching for her location. She literally posted the keys to this motel on her Instagram story. This woman never learns. After that, they went to another extended motel. Papa Chu wasn't staying with them, Tofia claimed he was in a safe place, but he was actually wandering the street and has been arrested. He is currently sitting in a jail cell. As of now, they have left the motel. From what the trolls are saying, the family stayed at a shelter called Safe House, but left after being there for like a day.